Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on here real quick. Um, you know, you like my kitchen? It's great, right? Um, anyway, so I just wanted to come on here. This is a different setup for me, so it, it, it feels weird recording in my in the kitchen, but it's a different space than from where I'm usually used to, and it just it works a little bit better. I have a table and I can sit down on it instead of sitting on my floor on a chair that is not good for my posture but that's another that's another dragon that i need to slay at some point so um you know what was i where was i going with this yeah okay so i am going to talk to you about a special app or um work station that i use for when it comes to organizing and getting my tasks on hand so what I used to start doing, and I, I haven't done this, I, I hadn't been doing this probably since like, I just started doing this this year, and I started doing it probably around, oh gosh, I would probably say around June, July, somewhere around there, and I started doing it just like this. I started using sticky notes and a pen, writing down all the stuff that I had to get done in a day and, you know, just placing that somewhere where I could see it. And then more recently, I've come up with, well, I I, I haven't come up with the system, but I've, I've replicated the system, I will say, um, of doing it the way that other people have done it. And there is a sticky board wall that I have created for myself. And it's where you write down all your to-dos, you put them down as um, open, so then it's like you haven't done them yet, in progress, so you can move them over as you see yourself fit with the progress. And then the complete is for when you've actually finished that task. And so far, it's it still needs a little bit of um, of tweaking for me, because, you know, I always want to do all the things all at once and then I just want to get it done in one day and then that's it and then I'll have the rest of my time just to sit around and do nothing but now I've come up with the idea of doing the three things system so I will make my to-do list whether it be on Microsoft Word whether it be on a sticky note whether it be in a journal just whether it be on a physical space for me to look at so like I have a, sec a second monitor in front of me and then I just pull up my uh, Microsoft Word and then I write down all my to do's for that day so my to do's could be cleaning the house doing my laundry um, you know making sure I drink my coffee before it gets cold you know like small things like that um, I even have one that's sitting on the fridge reminding me, hey, you have to water the garden today. You have to make sure that the cats have food and water. And you have to make sure that, you know, once your water jug gets empty to fill it. Because if I don't write that stuff down, I won't remember. And it may seem a little OCD, but it is just probably the best way for me to do it. And just recently, in the last couple of months, I have come across... Notion. And what Notion is, it's an all-in-one workspace that you that people can use for productivity. I'm going to be honest with you here. When I first tried to use this, I had no idea what I was doing. I got very frustrated. It took me about maybe two hours just to figure it out, even by following somebody who had summed it up into a five-minute video on how to use it. Um, it's not. It's once you do get your way around what you're doing and what you're using it for, um, it works a lot better. Um, I would have to say Notion has probably saved me from falling into a unproductive trap. Um, and now I'm starting to find it for everything, like whether it be journaling, meditating, self-care, um, you know, just for like my YouTube stuff and like even for my household chores, like I have one for work. When I go back to work, I have one that's in my phone and I can just look at it and I can check off everything that I have to get done in that day. And it's, I, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm being very optimistic with it because it's just one of those things that it's like, I have been wanting to find this tool. I've been wanting to find something that is 
economic because writing it down on paper each week and then just like refilling all of my tasks it's just it, it, it becomes redundant and it becomes repetitive and it becomes wasteful and I don't like wasting paper I really don't even when it gets recycled I don't like wasting paper so Notion is the way to go I used to be using uh, Sansama to um, organize my tasks and to keep it a little bit more like, okay, you have this day, you have this much time to work on it. Um, you know, like your deadline is a day from today. And I started to realize I'm like, okay, well, like that's great. But then my trial ran out and I was like, well, I'm not going to sign myself up just yet just to use it because then I had found myself that I wasn't using it as much. And I'm like, well, why sign up for a service if I'm not going to be holding myself accountable for it. So I, I, then I went back into Google Chrome and I found Todoist. And I know that a lot of people have talked about like AkiFlow and like Monday.com and like all of those other productivity tools that are just like, oh yeah, you can keep your tasks here and it can do more stuff. But for me, it's like, I want to be simple. I want it to be beneficial for my needs, but I also want it to be simple. And to do to doist is very simple. Um, you know, like I can I can integrate my Google Calendar in there. That that's another thing that I use. So it's it's Google Cal Google Calendar, Todoist, and Notion. And as of right now, I have just Notion pages for my work, my nine to five job, or my seven to three job rather, uh, YouTube. And then just household chores, which, you know, most of the time I know what my household chores are. And, you know, I, I once I get them done, I get them done. It's fine. Um, but as far as that goes, I mean, I'm also looking at Notion and I'm like, you can just basically design this page as much as you want. Um, like once you get the basics down, it's pretty easy to use. And it has been like my productivity friend for ever. And like, it's even helping me to where I can set a time to where it's like, okay, when am I going to answer emails? If there is any emails for me to answer, or is it, if I don't have emails that I have to answer, um, I will set a time for when I have to look at my emails and I'll see what's come in. Like, you know, whether it be Patreon or whether it be, um, you know, deliveries, stuff like that. I will set a time for that. So then I'm not just constantly sitting there going, oh, I'm refreshing my email every 20 seconds. Like, why am I like, you know, it's, it's getting into the trap of, of doom scrolling has become a huge problem for me. And like right now I have my phone in my bedroom on the charger because I'm like, I just, I, I can't have it by me right now because it's like, I know the minute that it's in my hands, I'm going to be scrolling that freaking screen. And of course, you know, like you can get access to, Facebook, Instagram, and all of that stuff on your computer as well. Um, but I also found a site blocker. So in a couple hours of my day, if I know that there are tasks that I have to get done, um, I will I will put them into the site blocker. And then the minute that I go into the site, it's like, uh-uh, this site has been blocked. So you can focus on your work. So it's like, get back to work, be productive. Um let me get into Google uh, extensions here right now. So I have one that's called Momentum. And what Momentum is, is that it basically shows you, um, it, uh, it it opens up in a beautiful, beautiful new tab. And it shows you, it gives you like an inspirational quote and it'll say, good morning. Um, what do you want to get accomplished today? And then it'll be like, what is your main goal for today? So like if my main goal is, I want to work on a YouTube video. I would put that in and then it stays there for the whole day until I click it off. And then there's also the to-do list that I can put aside. So then it's like, well, if I got my main goal completed, I can go back and I can do these small little to-dos that I have put down as a personal reminder for myself um, to get done. And the great thing about it is, is that there's such a thing called focus mode within this extension. So once you turn that on, it, um, it gives you a timer. You can set it for yourself. You can set it for an hour, two hours, um, you know, 30 minutes, maybe even 10 minutes or like five minutes. If you want to give yourself your eyes a break, you want to get some coffee. Remember how I said that I wanted to drink this before it got cold. It's cold now. 
So, um, like, you know, and then you can set it up that way. And I find that my productivity has doubled in probably the last couple of months. And it's, I'm not to say that I am a pro productivity king, queen, prince, princess, whatever you want to say, but it's the baby steps. And productivity for me has always been hard because I've been dealing with the other P in the world that a lot of us deal with, and that is procrastination. And once it becomes to like a task becomes so daunting for me or becomes something that's so overwhelming, I'm just like, uh-uh. I'm like, nope, can't do it. I, I just, I can't. But now I look at the task and I say, okay, I have to put this into smaller pieces even though it may take me a lot longer but done is better than perfect so it's like I try to put that perfection ideology out of my head and onto the back burner even though when I do start on a project like the most recent one that I've been working on it's like yeah like if I'm listening to something that I've recorded and then I listen to it back I'm like oh this just sounds like a complete dumpster fire but then I'm like no 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 it sounds great. You've done good. This is all part of the process. This is the hard part. This is the hardest part is getting started and getting over those hurdles that yourself is making you think that you don't sound good or it's not going to be a good piece of content, which I've struggled with. I've talked about it. I have confessed to almost every YouTube platform out there that it's like anything that I put out there, I do get discouraged because it's like even when you look at the views and I try not to look at the views, like once it gets to like the first couple of hours that it's been out there and it's only like at 20 outside of maybe some of the other ones that have been hitting 200, 300 views within the first week, it's like it gets a little discouraging, right? But I'm not here to talk about YouTube views and anything. I've been trying to get that out of my head. Um because it's like, I, I just don't care anymore. Um, but yeah, productivity. Notion is the way to go, I think. And I mean, Google Calendar helps a fair bit because I try to take time on Sundays to really look at my week. And of course, a whole bunch of my week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, is work. It, so it's it's like you know it, it's my job my my job and then I get to rotate things around that but I also I make it into a different fraction of calendars so it's like I make sure that it's like I have my non-negotiables so that whether that be reading whether that be journaling whether that be tidying my room whether that be you know cleaning my bathroom doing my laundry you know just doing those things that it's like I have to get this done and I don't have a choice. And then that, that holds me accountable for something. And I would have to say, and then there's also the other category of play, which is the other things that I do that are outside of my, out of my job. So then whether that be doing my Duolingo courses, even though that would kind of be more of a non-negotiable, like a non-negotiable because they will remind me every day in my emails to get it done because it's like, it's like, oh, you have a streak that you have to hold on to, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that, that could also fall under play or a non-negotiable. Uh, but more for play would be like just taking time for myself, um, you know, reading, journaling, um, you know, hanging out with friends, like, you know, like watching DVDs with, well, like watching movies with friends, talking with friends, um, you know, just, just chilling and relaxing. Just some of those activities that it's like, it doesn't involve work. It doesn't involve a lot of mental thought for me to do. And there's nothing that it's like, I have to get done. It's like, oh, I don't have to have this conversation. I don't have to take part in this specific project. I don't have to. I can just turn everything off, cuddle under a blanket, and go to sleep. That's also part of the play part. And then work is, of course, 7 till 3, my 9 to 5 job. And then I try to put in 
uh, I have categories for my YouTube stuff, and then I have uh, I have a subcategory for like podcast, and then other stuff that just um, differentiates each task. So then it's like, okay, this is what I'm working on. I'm working on this project, or I'm working on podcast, or I'm working on something else. Um, that sort of thing. And there are other things that I probably should put in that calendar because there are things that I have kind of slacked on um, that I've been doing. But uh, for the most part, it's just been, I've been fine tuning everything. And I can't say that I am productivity perfect. I, I can't. Um, it takes a lot of coffee for me to get there. A lot of mental thinking, mental planning. And even then sometimes... I look at my schedule and then I'm like, this is, leaves me, leaves absolutely no room for nothing. So then it's like, I, I scrap it just with a lot of things. I scrap them first. And then it's like, I have to start over because that's just how my brain works. It's like, this is absolute dumpster fire. So you have to scrap it and start over. Anyways, that is my Wednesday, um, I guess Wednesday video, not that I'm consistent with these. Consistency is another thing that I'm working on. Consistency is hard. It's very hard. Um, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that I'm, like, I'm not consistent with certain things, but I'm also consistent in other things. So there's, there's, I, I would have to probably describe consistency for me as, like, over-the-top consistency. And then there's very low consistency. And the over top consistency could kind of be to where I'm doing a task, but it's very repetitive. Like I could be doing it day in and day out, day in and day out. And, but then there are some of them that I'm like, okay, I'm doing, I'm going strong for a bit. And then whoop, I fall off the tracks. So like cleaning, it is probably a constant it, it, it's a consistent constant in my life. Like if there's anything that needs to be cleaned, like I'm looking at the dishes that are in the sink, I will clean those. Um, if I'm looking at the hallway and it hasn't been vacuumed, I will vacuum that. So it's like when it comes to those types of tasks, I will do them day in and day out, day in and day out, day in and day out. And I used to be very consistent with that. Like this whole entire place, if my folks would be out, on the weekend, I would just do a rampant clean of the whole entire place. It would be spotless. Like, there would just be nothing. Like, I wouldn't declutter, per se, because we have a lot of stuff that is just not cluttered, that, that is very cluttered. And so I don't go for that. But as of recently, because I had gotten talked to about um, invading boundaries... And then I'm like, oh, okay, then, you know, I, you're not going to allow me to take care of the place that I basically am working for my rent. So, yeah, that's great. So then I, I backed off on that. And then my consistency when it came to cleaning was only in one room, which was my bedroom. So I treat that room as my office. I treat that room as my workspace. I treat that as my personal space. I treat that as like my own apartment, even though it's like one room. <laughs> so, and I keep it clean, but there are some days where it's like, I just don't want to clean because I don't have the energy and I don't have the time and I don't have the, the I just don't have the motivation to do it. And that's totally fine. Um, then I would say like the low impact consistency is exercising for me. I always have it in my head that I'm like, yes, I'm going to do 30 minutes of cardio Pilates. And trust me, I've done it. I used to have a routine so long ago that I was doing three workouts a day. I would do 10 minutes of Bollywood, 10 minutes of Tabata, and then a full 30 of cardio and Pilates. And when I first started, I was like, this is killing me, killing me in the best way possible because, um, well, it actually helped me succeed in getting out of depression. It was like the best thing that I could possibly do for myself when I was very depressed. And I also had the time to do it. But now that I have very lacked time to do it, I'm still fine-tuning to try to figure out, okay, when can I actually do this again? Because when I was doing the three workouts a day, um, 
I was feeling great. I was feeling great. I was losing weight and I was just, I was feeling healthy. And as of right now, I've gone so much off the deep end that it's like getting back to where I was is, was going to be a very slow and a very slow process for me. And it's even harder because I want to do those things on my own when other people aren't around because I feel like I'm going to be judged even if it's behind a closed door. So it's that that's just my thing. I mean, I'm, I've always been self-conscious about my weight. I've always been self-conscious about appearance. Um, you know, and that's just that's the thing that has been the hardest thing for me at this point. But that's not that's going to be a conversation for another day. So right now we're talking about productivity, notion, Google Calendar, to doist. So, you know, check them out for yourself. They're completely free. Um, they're in your Google Chrome. If you use Google Chrome, you can find them under the extensions. And well, Notion's not in the extensions, but Notion's is, is a completely different thing. Um, sign up is free and, uh, you know, try it out for yourself and see how you do. There are templates that are available that you can use. And like, that's what I do. I use a template. So yeah, thanks guys. And I will see you soon. Bye.